A wide range of backgrounds, cultures, demographics. Should be at the beach, yeah, should be at the beach. I love this sun, man, I'm a Kiwi. He's gonna live 120 years of hopefully a very, very clean river. Fire away. We're excavating the, down to the lower level one existing sewer. Some of the blocks that have been removed, they're going to a nature reserve. So basically, we just lift them by the crane onto the barges and they sent their way down to East London. It's great team spirit around here. I was really interested in becoming a local driver. It was suggested to me by many guys and they said I would be the first female tunneling operative in the United Kingdom. My camaraderie with my team members is unbelievable. They are like a part of my family. As long as you're good at what you do, you'll be well respected. We are currently with the Second Islanding operation. The purpose of the Second Islanding is to provide the right durability conditions to the tunnel in order to last for over 120 years. It's a momentous occasion, a momentous point in the history of the whole project to be honest because here we have TBM Annie that's just made uh, her way from Greenwich, started the journey about a year ago, arrived finally at, at Chambers. One big year to go and we should have a system. The interception chamber is where we're intercepting water from the uh, current sewage system. It's then taken into the shaft where it then follows the vortex tube. It's a very interesting project from an engineering point of view, even if you ignore all of the amazing benefits that the project will bring uh, to London and the community surrounding. Here at Victoria we've finished our main RC works. We're now concentrating on facade and doing our precast cladding panel installation. At the minute as well we're currently starting our landscaping works. At the front section there'll be terrace so it'll be a nice seating area and step down area to give you different viewpoints of the London Eye and the surrounding area. So originally the old pumping station was used when the old sewer would overflow. It would pump it out into the storm chamber and into the Thames. And now it's going to connect the old sewer to the new sewer along that pathway and the overflow will travel into down the vortex, down the shaft and into the new super sewer. So today we've got quite a lot of transportation. We've got the main driver spherical barrier which are going back to Germany. But with this being the last tide wave site, this is going to be the connection between the existing lead tunnel and in new tideway tunnel. So we'll be hopefully taking up all the storm water, treating that sewage, instead of it going into the Thames. I'm the great, great grandson of Sir Joseph Bazalgette, who designed London's Victorian sewage system. And here I am today, looking into the Thames tideway tunnel to see how they are going to once again clean up London with a brilliant sewage system, a fantastic infrastructure project. We um, put on our safety stuff and actually went down into the tunnels and saw how majestic they are. They're enormous and the amount of work that's going on is just incredible. The unique challenges at Deptford is every day is different. This is something that's never done, been done on Tideway before. So every day is a different challenge from demolition to the civils, interaction between Thames Water and what we're doing here. We've been at this seven years and I think the fact that we've got ourselves into such a strong position, we're getting so much closer to being able to clean up the river. It just never ceases to amaze me uh, quite how much effort and how much fun people are having in doing something you know, really quite special.